This is a demonstration of a very old and rare transmitter. Model number is a VX101 Junior, made by the Electromechanical Manufacturing Company of New York. This uh, little transmitter covers 80, 40, and 20 meter band. Right now I have it set up, uh, teamed up with a Hammerlin HQ170 receiver. So in a second here I'll uh, put her on the air and show you how it operates. Alright, I've got it on the 40 meter band. Right now we're in receive mode. So I'll flip over to transmit. And we'll hit a little CQ. Alright, so if you're uh, on this frequency for say, you want to get your transmitter on there so you can send your CQ, it's got a monitor switch. You can spot your VFO. Always give her a little bit of an offset. And then you're ready to transmit. Alright, so let's open the lid. This is a uh, 807 transmitter. Only puts out maybe uh, yeah, five, six watts of power. It's got some neat voltage regulator tubes here. Backside, I'm running a little bandpass filter. Uh, because this thing doesn't really have any TVI suppression. Uh, I've got a TR switch back here for flipping the antenna back and forth. The dial on this thing was uh, recreated by an uh, engraving shop here locally. So it's a nice laser engraved plastic uh, bezel behind the national velvet vernier dial. So if you uh, by chance hear this thing on the air, this is the station you'll be uh, listening to. Nice old vintage Hammerland and this real cool VX101 Junior. Alright, so I mainly monitor the uh, 40 meter handband. Enjoy QRP and uh, I've made about four or five contacts with this thing and I've gotten great tone reports. So uh, if you happen to be out there, listen for N6TLU and uh, maybe we can do a little QRP work. And hopefully you got an old tube rig so we can have a tube talking to a tube. See you out there, 73's.